All right, good morning, second grade students. Today for social studies, we are going to be looking at the book, My Government, and now we're going to be looking at state government. So we're gonna be learning how the state government is similar and different from the federal government. And we're going to learn various roles and how states create their own laws. All right, so chapter one is on how state governments formed. Before 1776, the 13 American colonies governed themselves. There was no national government. Why? There was no nation. That changed after independence was declared. The colonies became states. The federal government was formed. Citizens would follow its laws, but states have their own governments too. Why? Because each one has special issues. State leaders know what they are. They know what laws to make. And then it says, take a look. Some states were formed long ago. Some states are still fairly new. When was your state formed? And we see that Arizona was formed in 1912. All right, chapter two is on making state laws. The 50 states are very different. Alaska has the most land, but not many people. Rhode Island is small, but it is crowded. Land size can determine laws, so can population. So who exactly makes the laws? Just like the federal government, each state has three branches. The legislative branch makes laws. About what? Any matter that is not assigned to the federal government. Roads, hospitals, schools, parks, banking, state resources. Who is in the legislature? State representatives and state senators. They serve in addition to their regular jobs. The governor is the leader of the executive branch. This branch makes sure that state laws are followed. The governor also helps plan the future of the state. And did you know, in most states, governors must be at least 30 years old. Two states have no age requirements. Which ones? Kansas and Vermont. Children have even run for office. Every state has a court system. This is the judicial branch. It decides if laws have been broken. Did someone commit a crime? A trial might take place. Are two people in a disagreement? It could get settled in a court. The state Supreme Court is the highest court. Higher courts may change the decision of lower courts. All right, and then chapter three is on state services. State governments provide services for the people who live there. Like what? Police protection, welfare for people who need it. Highway upkeep is another example. Taxes help pay for the things states need. Who pays taxes? Almost all of us do. We pay taxes to our state government. We also pay taxes to the federal government. States receive funds from the federal government too. Every year, the government in each state decides how to spend the money. For example, each state has a budget for its parks. Each one of the 50 states is unique. Do you live in a state with a big city? How does it affect your state's laws? State governments know what our needs are and what challenges we have. The government works for us. All right, and that is our lesson for today for social studies.